to the world famous Play Loud show. You know what it is. We got a very special guest today. With me, I got the homie, Average Joe. Average Joe, postmodercomics.com. You know what it is. And we're about to get the world famous Play Loud show as it started, as you know, as we do. So we're going to break it off like this. So, man, so what you been doing for 2010? What's the plan? 2010, man, that's my year. Uh, road tripping all across America. Uh, from Oregon to New York to Florida, California, doing it all, the whole thing. Making music, making art, doing what we can do. Oh, doing what you can do, that's what's up, man. Yep. So, um, what artist do you think is tight out right now? Who do you think is got it right now? Who do you think <laughs> don't need it and need to get put back on the shelf and collect some dust? Oh, sh uh, well, that, that RZA album with the, the there's a dubstep RZA album, and I think that's hot because uh, I'm all for progression of. Of hip hop and music in general, and I think the uh, the combination of dubstep and uh, hip hop is gonna be some. It's gonna be some passion there. That's some new stuff to come out and look for. It's gonna be some new stuff. Yep. So man, so what do you mean? Um, so what kind of um, projects you got? What are you working on in 2010? What new songs you got? Come on, man. Well, so right Getting now, skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, uh, me and Spartacus, my boy, we got a bunch of tracks going on. In fact, we just recorded one with uh, your host Jay Legacy the other day and uh, King D and that's gonna be hot look for that it's called The Voyage um, and yeah you know we're, uh, we're doing this tour in the states and I'm, I make comics you know so we're gonna have I'm gonna do oh yeah shoot out the comics tell yeah, me about your comics yeah postmodercomic.com um, they're really funny like cartoon style and the whole point is to mix it with the uh, hip hop to, to bring a new type of entertainment that hasn't been seen yet gonna you know some really good messages some metaphysical stuff it's gonna be hot so, um, what are you trying to do uh, with your comics? Are you trying to do like hip hop comics, or is it like the Boondocks, or it's your own little approach at the it's, world? It's definitely my own approach. Okay. Um, but I will say, yes, I did get uh, some inspiration from the Boondocks, their their style, their humor. Shout out to Aaron McGrudder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, that's what's up. And this year is they're doing. There's a lot of artists out here. Did you watch the Grammys? Did you catch the Grammys last I night? I did. I did not. No, we were too busy making music, man. We make music every day. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. See, we don't got time to watch the Grammys. <laughs> you, you, they we're already famous. Project. Okay, we, yeah. we we getting famous. We getting there right now on a little pedestal. <laughs> got to come and catch up to us. Yeah. Dang man. So, so tell me about just tell me about life in general. I know you're um. You're from Oregon, you know. Mm -hmm. You coming out to California, you know, showing the homies some love, doing some tracks here yeah. and there. So tell me what, like, what's the whole, what's your whole little thing? You traveling? You trying to? <laughs> yeah, traveling, man. Um, cause you know, Oregon is good. It's got bomb weed, but that's you know, it's got good outdoors. <laughs> that's about it. So you know, I want to see more than just uh, some sticks and stuff. So I'm out here trying to trying to rock the country. And rock it right, doing some hip hop, spreading art, you know, street art everywhere. I'm trying to find all the artists as yourselves, you know, okay. and get some collabs going, and you know, bring in, bring in the 2010 the right way, and make the future happen. Make the future happen. That's what yep. we need. 2010. So, um, what what's your New Year revolution for this year? You know, everyone came off the New New Year revolution. Everyone's doing something different, you know. Yeah, well, well, I got. I'm. We're making the new year revolution. Actually, that's revolution. That's, that's what the resolution <laughs> is: is to make the revolution, and it's happened. It's coming in, and uh, yeah, we're getting it going right now. We got, we got music, and we got you know messages. I got comics. Postmodercomic.com. Check it out, and uh, you know we're just gonna spread the word. And sooner or later, the uh, the combined mental abilities of the humans will form the future. <laughs> That that we want to see. See, so we're not. We see, we're not just MCs. We're intelligent too. Yeah. You gotta think about that. <laughs> After average day people. Yeah, that was joke. <laughs> <laughs> without, without further ado, we're gonna cut to a commercial break, and we're gonna get back with the homie Keen D, and we'll what? have more from the world famous Play Out show. Stay tuned. What is? Yo. And print. Alright, are we on? Alright, yeah, so. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Average Joe's getting uh, out. Average Joe. Yeah. Shout out yeah. to all of our, our studio audience, our first ever studio Woo! audience. We got 10 people, you can't see who they are, they didn't sign waivers. Alright, so, uh, oh. the world famous Play Loud show. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have you here, sir. Oh, hey. man. My it's, pleasure. It's quite, quite an honor. I'm sure you guys have heard they're on a tour right now, an actual road trip. 
that too many people don't. Matt, tell us about how, how that, what, what made you want to say, you know what, let's go. Besides, you know, the <laughs> whole organ thing. Right. What really made you be like, oh yeah, we're definitely doing it. Well, you know, I got, I got friends and family spread all over the country. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've never been all over the country. And, you know, this is a critical point for America, I think, in my opinion. And I just kind of want to get the consensus of the American people. Hmm. And I want to I fit that and I want to make sure that it's, uh, that it's going the right way, that we're going the right direction. And I'm going to do my part. We're going to do our part right. to, uh, to make that happen. That's tight, man. That is so tight. Who are some of the people that you have already met up with? Well, we just went through Oakland. Um, that was awesome. Just, just some friends out there. And uh, went through San Francisco. You know, it's just, just friends so far. Yeah. Um, this is the first time that, you know, I've got to get up in the studio and do some music. Um, and, you know, That's my tough. other boy to do music with is in Florida. So I got some ground to cover before I get to making music again. So in the meantime, I'm going to be working on the art. We got the comics. We've got, we're doing street art. We do street performances. So, you know, just trying to keep alive. 365. 365, keeping it live. Let's yeah. go ahead, get a close up on this right here. Let's, let's show, show them. Let us know, know about it. Let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see. see. Okay, what do we, we got? What do we got here? How, how did it come about? Like, what, this is what? number two. Oh, okay. What do I got? Here, this is, this is funny. This is just some funny sh**. It's jokes. Um, but then I also try to get uh, metaphysical, metaphysical on some of the comics. And just uh, pretty much explore reality is what I'm going for. And mm. this is, you know, an exploration of, you know, what would be the cartoon realm. And, uh, and just kind of diving into that. And when I superimpose the, the cartoons with the music, you're going to get a whole different type of entertainment. Is gonna be. It's gonna be more than just a music video. It's gonna be interactive. Oh, I'm gonna okay. be interacting with That's my characters, right. and it's gonna be all. It's gonna be pretty much uh, the view of a schizophrenic mind. <laughs> so how long? How long have you been doing the music thing, man? How I've long? been doing. We've been making music. Oh, for oh, probably, probably about six years is when I first got in the studio and recorded the song. Yeah. And then um, it's, you know, it's obviously been getting more uh, more progressive since then. So yeah, six years. That's what's up. Who who was? Right now, when you leave here mm -hmm. from the kitchen, um, who who are you listening to, like, you know, music-wise? Like, um, music, uh, the fan. CD, the CD in my car that I'm bumping right now is the Black Rock album, the Black Keys do a hip hop album, and those beats are just just hot. Um, so you mean, yeah, like the Black Keys on the piano. La well, that's what they're named after. Oh, I see. You never heard oh. of Black Keys? They're like, like a blues rock band, but they did this hip hop album. The Riz is on there. Jay Z's on there. It's it's good. It's really good. It's innovative. All for that innovative music. Shout out to the Black Keys and, and the Black Rock Project. Yeah. Um, someday they will be on the Play Aloud show. <laughs> I guarantee. When we get back right now, with Average Joe, he has something else. When we get back. But we're not going to leave right now. I'm just letting you know that <laughs> for when we do leave. So, <laughs> who, who, over the years, who have been some of your main influences? Influences um, on my style has got to be Aesop Rock, MF Doom, yeah, um, yeah. Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Those are, those are the three for me that their vocals just kill it. They just slay it all the time. Their style is innovative. Their style is, you know, like very original. And so that's, you know, that's kind of what I try to use to, uh, to get me in a mindset where I can, you know, try to, try to, you know, use those influences and then also make that innovative, original sound. And then you know you got you got to have uh, you know soul music, gospel music, blues music, you know that root stuff. Yeah, music, um, music, music, music. <laughs> yeah, like those are big influences. That's tight, man. So, with that being said, have have there has there been any um, you know say like rock groups or or non hip hop groups that you've collaborated with or that you've like you know um, gotten some of your ideas from? There's a couple. Um, I mentioned the like electronic tip a little bit ago. And yeah, I've done a little bit of collaboration with some guys that are more into like glitch, like music that's mm -hmm. really not hip hop. Right. And and trying to like kind of fit that. Um, you know, I've done I've definitely freestyled over like jam bands that do like funk. So like they'll they'll lay down the funk and you know they'll they're just friends of mine doing shows and so they'll like bring me up on stage every once in a while to freestyle if it's a good like funky beat kind of thing going on. So I've done that. I also play a blues harmonica, actually. Oh, okay. So like, uh, you know, just trying, just music in general, man. It's always music. That's what's up. I didn't even know you played <laughs> yeah. the har harmonica. Yeah. That's tight, man. Music, 
24 show. 24 show. That's what we call it, play it loud, whether it's uh. gospel or country mm -hmm. or just banging some spoons on a trash can or whatever. <laughs> yep. if, it, if it's music and it makes noise, play it loud, please. And then come here to us so we can share with the world. www.livestream.com forward slash the train station. Uh, train. It has a number one instead of the I. All right. The train station. Check out the kitchen. See our whole lineup. And if you have any kind of questions or ideas or chats or ideas for a show, um, commercials, you need us. Take that production. We handle all of that. Take that. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and holler at us, and we will be right back with you guys for real this time. Rolling, yeah. Go, Still out of his head, he don't belong in this reality. His skills got passed by the entire economy. He could take advantage of his own position, but can't seem to harness the power on which he's sitting. A catapult with no trigger mechanism, think potential energy with no action happening. The Acme blueprint shows why he knows me. I identify with Wally Coyote and OGs. Feel the pressure cooking. I can't deal with the guilt of the blame. Put with an inward point and a mirror's hard look Procrastinating debts cause he fears hard work Like well, he's got it, just none of it's tangible Getting hit like standing on the X when the anvil falls Compares himself to every passerby He sees them, projects and condemns his own personalities and few pass the standard test, the result you get is the average in front of it. No it's the shit, it's ironic, isn't it? And only to be proved if all y'all's is digging this average Joe. Oh no, not another one of those again, I swear I'm not another one just copying the current trends. You better be trendy or we'll think you're a weirdo. And generally, you'll be much more marketable. Then let me see if I can seem normal to people, but changing me doesn't seem that reputable. Average Joe, oh no, not another one of those again. Not another one of those I only write down the thoughts that occur to me If repeating and expecting different is insanity With every step I expect to defy gravity Andy B, reflated like a sculptor with his hands chopped Got Nietzschean philosophy in his mind locked John Locke, not lost His thoughts in an entity And defines the self as the conscious thinking thing The blank slate, the tabula rasa Ernest, the Dionysian author Who hopes that life's not worthless And doesn't mind the trope of the eternal reoccurrence Like Mob G Well let's get it on The only MC that speaks in aphorism form it must be that Nietzsche influenced them Ended all his quotes with us, spoke Zarathustra Not no Nazi nor nihilist Opposite of pop belief, he's not no pessimist Call him the cultural rabble rouser The vulture wearing trousers gonna go and devour He don't know, call him the stranger Albert Camus Average Joe, oh no, not another one of those again I swear I'm not another one just copying the current trends You better be trendy or we'll think you're a weirdo And generally, you'll be much more marketable Then let me see if I can seem normal to people But changing me doesn't seem that reputable Average Joe, oh no, not another one of those again <laughs> Not another one of those We all want to see a little act for a change They went and made think green Just another catchphrase See, I have a crystal ball But her eyes all blinded So crazy after all these years Like Paul Simon The voices in his head which one do you follow when the chorus sounds like Lady Smith Black Mombazo thinks of funny shit and then jots it down and only speaks his mind to draw in a crowd and thinks all things are funny ordinarily and overcomes his vanity with awesome hilarity. See, he thinks he's hot and he knows he's vain. Obviously not if this is the image portrayed. How you take him seriously? The kid must be insane. The stories he tells, they're stuffed full of a lot of shit. What he does, he levels open consciousness, rebels conscious thoughtlessness, and rebels in social awkwardness. Oh, so that's what this luck is for. And upstairs there's the constant self-confidence tug of war Don't tell them, make them draw their own conclusive evidence Or maybe that finds something more in it than what he really meant Oh no, not another one of those again Oh no, not another one of those average Joes Oh no, here we go Yeah Average Joe Oh no, average Joe Oh no, no